thought I'd show you today how I make these silvery coin type shapes out of recycled coffee bags. I've been meaning to try this for a while and I eventually got round to having a go the other day and I tried a few different ways of making them and I will show you the way that I found works best. I tried doing things with the oven and I tried a heat gun and in the end just an ordinary iron worked best of all. So that's that, these are the different coins I've tried making and here's a couple of finished ones which I've stitched down here and then this leaf shape is also coffee bag um, and we'll talk about that, why that's not this solid silver in a moment. So I'll just move that to one side. So the coffee bag that I used, I used this this one and it's it's quite a sturdy foil and it's shiny on both sides. It hasn't got um, a sort of, here, here's another one that I can show you the difference. Here's another one that I was given by a neighbour. And this one, you can see it's got this colour printing all over one side with the silver on the other side. So this is the one that I used because this is the one that I, I had at home. And the coffee that we get, it comes in this double pack. And so when you take off this outer wrapper, you get these bricks of coffee, coffee inside which don't have that printed colour. And um, by lucky chance, that's the one that worked best. And I'll also show you what happens with this this sort and my other experiments. My dog food comes, my puppy, it comes in these foil lined plastic bags which don't recycle and I've been looking for a way to use them and I have attempted making these silver discs using this as well but for now I'll show you the one that definitely does work. So this is the one we're going to use and it's it's just so easy so I'm just going to cut cut a strip there and you could fold it so in half and then in half again so that will give you four layers and that will work but actually I found that six layers works best so if I fold it into three and then fold it in half again so that's one two three four five six layers in all I'll just grab some baking parchment so I've sandwiched that top and bottom with baking parchment and I've got a very hot iron I'll just put that a bit higher press quite firmly. Now you need to make sure you do this in a room that's got really good ventilation because there is a plastic element to this and so it doesn't smell too good when it's getting hot like this. Actually going to leave that to cool so I'll be back in a moment once that's cooled down and I can touch it safely. Okay so this is the piece that I fused with the iron just now and you can see it's actually quite firm because I've got those six layers and they've all fused together beautifully. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to cut it in half. These are just my ordinary paper scissors. different ways of getting the hole in the middle. I tried poking a bradle through and that didn't really work very well so I found the best way of getting that central hole is with my um, uh, eyelet punch pliers. So 
So I'll just position that in the middle and squeeze. And there we go. And where it's slightly domed, where I've punched that through, I'll just push that flat on the table, rub it around a few times just to flatten it down again. So I really like those, nice and simple, but with the six layers, they're actually really sturdy and they've still got that shine. So I'm very happy with those, so I'll just put those to one side. So the plastic foil bags that I tried that didn't work are the ones with the printing, the solid printing. So I'll show you what happens with them. So if you fold them like that and iron them. bit hot but you can see it doesn't fuse at all but the side the bits that do fuse are the metal bits so the shiny silver fuses to shiny silver but the painted bit doesn't fuse to painted bit so it's firmer than it was originally that's quite floppy so that's a little bit firmer and what you could do then you could cut you can still use it you can cut shapes out of it quite like that bit of the Instagram logo there so you can cut leaf shapes so here's a few blue Peter style here's a few that I did earlier and where's my sketchbook gone So on this piece here, that's how I've made this leaf shape there. Mm -hmm. 